Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a new video. So we're on our way to actually go get the windows tinted on the F-150. This is something that I wanted to do kind of right away. I can't stand driving around in fish bowls um, and especially the truck. There's so much window that it was something that I wanted to get done right away. So I'm heading over to my preferred uh, tint shop where I got my STI as well as the Telluride done on a few other cars in the past as well. So I'm gonna head over there now, get the windows done, and then uh, I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. All right guys, all finished up. That only took probably about 25 minutes, 30 minutes. They're great, they have pre-cuts and everything. So way better, I feel uh, less exposed. <laughs> I just went with matching the rears since the rears were already done. But it looks really good. I'll get you guys a quick outside shot in a little bit. But again, I've gotten all my windows done by this place for the past couple years. And I've been so happy with them and they do a good job. So let's get home and uh, move on to the next thing. All right, guys. So I wanted to get you some exterior shots of the tent. It is 20% just to match the rear, like I mentioned. Um, so it's nothing crazy. It's actually the same tint that I have on the Telluride over here. We ended up just matching uh, the fronts with the rears and so ended up being 20% is the same thing on the truck. So let me just give you a little walk around real quick. So it looks a lot better. I hated driving around with the fishbowl. It was, you know, such big glass so you can see so much inside the truck. But with the tin on, it looks way better. Now I can't wait to get rid of all the other chrome. But there's two other things I wanted to get done today. I actually want to change out the headlight bulbs on this. I'm doing a full lighting uh, upgrade. So I'm going to be doing everything Morimoto, Morimoto headlights, fogs, taillights, uh, the little turn signals on the mirror, and a couple other little things. Uh, but in the meantime, I have some LED bulbs hanging around that actually fit. Uh, and I absolutely cannot stay in the halogen in these headlights. They're terrible. So I want to at least throw some better bulbs in in the meantime. I'm not sure if I have them for the fogs. I know the uh, low beams are H11, which is pretty common. So I have those hanging around. So I'm gonna throw them in. Kind of a pain in the butt to install those since you actually need to remove the trim piece around here and actually take the headlight out. As opposed to just working through in the engine bay, you actually literally need to take the headlight out. So a little bit more work, but um, I think it's gonna be worth it. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock that out. And then I'm gonna go ahead and give it the first wash. Now it's not gonna be the full detail series that I'm planning, but I just wanted to clean it up, give it a good cleaning for the first time, just kind of get a base, get it ready. Uh, I'm gonna throw some bead maker on as well, uh, just so I get something on the paint because there's literally nothing on it right now uh, and it looks terrible. So I at least wanna get some protection on it until I can get some time to actually detail it. Since that is gonna take a solid two to three days, uh, of work to get it done especially I have to wait for the weather and everything because uh you know the truck doesn't fit in the garage so i can't keep it in there overnight so i gotta make sure it's going to stay pretty dry um when i do end up detailing it and ceramic coating it so so let's go ahead get the bulbs put in and then we can get going on the wash Man, what a dumb design just to change a headlight bulb. You literally need to remove so much just to get to the back of the headlight. But we have enough access, it's right here. Um, so all we're gonna do is pop off the little boot right here, which I can't do one-handed, but I'll do that. Um, and then we can pop the new bulb in.
So if anybody's curious, they are H11s, so it's pretty common size, as I mentioned. And I have H11 LEDs I'm gonna throw in. I had these on the Outback, actually. Same ones that I was using then, so simply just gonna pop them in, and we'll be good. All right, so I ended up actually having 9,005 LEDs as well. So I got the low beams and the high beams converted to LED. If we go over to the other side, there's a the halogen, there's LED. So pretty big difference. Uh, I'm excited to see just how much better it is at night. So a lot of work just to get those bulbs in, but hey, it works, it looks better. I'm gonna be able to see better at night for the time being until I get the Morimoto XB LED headlights. Uh, but yeah, so let's go ahead finish up the other side and finish this project up. I thought I had uh, bulbs for the fogs here, but they're a different size that I've never had before. So I wasn't able to replace them, but I'm happy I at least got the headlights done uh, much better. I'm anxious to see how much better it is at night. Uh, so we'll do a test later on, but I'm kind of running out of time. It's uh, getting dark out, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to wash the truck, but either way, I'm happy I got the headlights done. All right, guys, so it is later on in the day, later in the night, actually. I did not get a chance to actually wash the truck. Uh, time just got away from me this weekend and I wasn't able to get it done But I wanted to at least come and show you the headlights or the LED bulbs that I just put in actually um, Definitely way brighter than halogens, but you know, it's nothing amazing um, Obviously upgrading to a full proper LED projector is definitely the route I want to go uh, But for the time being it's really nice. I'm really happy with the change uh, It's gonna help much better at night. I like I said I did the low beams and the high beams which are both on right now um, It's very very hard to show lighting in videos just because um, it gets washed out but much better coloring much whiter so for a free mod really happy with it but after doing just these bulbs on the on the truck uh it convinced me that i'm going to do everything uh this week i'm going to order up all the morimoto xb led lights for this truck so it's the xb led uh, headlights the fog lights um, i already have these ordered for the side markers and on the back um, I'm going to order the Morimoto XB LED taillights as well as the license plate lights right there. Um, just to kind of complete everything because this is definitely something that I want to do right away. Because I'm sure as you guys know if you watch my STI videos, I'm a huge lighting nut. Uh, so getting proper lighting on my cars and trucks is very important to me. It makes it much more aggressive looking just overall since it's all blacked out on the inside of the lights. Um, plus, it's just much better output. Your eyes are straining less at night and you can see much more. So I'm going to place my order with Lightworks. Hopefully, we'll have everything in at the end of this week uh, or the beginning of next week, depending on availability. I think everything is available, so it should come in pretty quickly. But I'll definitely update you guys once it all comes in. But for a quick little mod, really happy with it. And also with the tin, absolutely love how it looks. Um, just driving around for the a uh, week or two without tint in the front windows was it was killing me i hated the way it looked i felt too visible while i was driving the truck because um, like i said the windows are massive so you can see everything uh, but it gives a little bit of privacy and it cuts down on the interior light but yeah guys that is all i have for this one nothing too exciting but again i like doing these small update videos just to let you guys know what i'm doing with my cars and now my truck 
um, so you can stay in the loop of everything and just know exactly what I'm doing at all times. This is the stuff that I would be doing in the garage no matter what, if there's a camera or not. So updating you guys is uh, kind of important to me. So right now I know it's very small mods, but it'll be a part of the big picture once everything is done. So be patient, trust the process, and I promise you it's going to look amazing when it's done. So if you guys have any questions at all, be sure to ask them below. But in the meantime, keep it clean, keep it simple, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. All right, so here's just a little idea of the light output. Now, it's obviously not depicting on camera very well at all, but it is much better than the stock halogens. Here are the brights. Um, so as you can kind of see, the LED light is more of a hot spot. So it's, I mean, obviously it's with the high beams on, so it's a little bit more direct, uh, but you can see some hot points uh, with the low beams directly in front of you. It's kind of, like I said, you can't really see it on camera, but I'm really looking forward to getting the Morimoto XB LED headlights. Those are gonna be a massive, massive change. Uh, so once those come in, I'll definitely do a comparison between these two. Hopefully this van doesn't hit me because you pulled too far out. But yeah, there's a little comparison. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll catch you in the next one.